I want to talk a little bit more about that block of kids, right? The 16U, the 17U kids that are getting ready to hope, you know, one day leave high school and go play in college or, you know, in some cases get drafted. Like that's always been a big kind of sweet spot for perfect games model, right? You guys hold a lot of these showcases. You hold a lot of the select fests, the, the national showcase games. Talk a little bit about the connection between perfect game and also the college recruiting process. And then for the very select few, the ability for these kids to be drafted out of high school and go on to play, you know, and start their, you know, start the minor league climb and all that. So just talk a little bit about perfect games role in that for a young kid. Yeah. So perfect game hosts showcases all across the country. Um, there it's basically an opportunity for a kid to come out, um, run a 60 yard dash, be evaluated, um, get those hard numbers. Um, and we attach all those to each player that plays within perfect game has their own profile. You can go in, you can update a photo, you can do, you know, height, weight, all that deal. And those stats track them, uh, across their whole career. Like your son, he played in the tournament last week and we have stats from that game. So we track literally dating back from all the way through nine, U, all the way through their high school and college careers. When a kid commits to a college, we attach that to her profile. When a kid gets drafted in the major league baseball draft, you, we attach that to their profile. So we're basically a platform as well as a tournament body for kids to get exposed. Because if I'm a college coach and I'm like, Hey, you know, this tournament is in Hoover, Alabama this week, we have the 14 U WWB going BA going on in Alabama and, you know, the recruiting for baseball is getting younger and younger every year. I've seen kids commit or verbally commit out of eighth grade. And it, it's just crazy. And the, and the thing is, is colleges have to be that aggressive because if they don't, somebody else is. And you have so many kids that go straight out of high school, skip college and go straight to the MLB draft. And it's, you know, you get a kid to commit. But at the end of the day, is he really going to end up playing with your school or is he going to take off to the draft? So it's it's one of those things where we're the platform for colleges to be able to go see those hard numbers um, and they can see when a kid plays. So say, like I said, we have the tournament at Hoover. Alabama might say, oh, look at this. You know, PG has this top ranked kid. We give them a showcase number. Basically, it's a it's a grade for, you know, how we feel they hit. Uh, their defense, uh, their pitching and all that. And it gives the coach the opportunity to go see that kid. So we have tournaments in, I wish I could pull up a picture, but we have tournaments where we have over a hundred colleges in attendance and they sit out there with golf carts, radar guns. And it's just unreal. Um, the opportunity they have. And I mean, yeah, you know, kids get seen at, at high school, but, it's easier for a college coach to go to a travel baseball game and see 10 potential D one kids. Rather you go to a high school game and see one or two, you know? So it's a little bit, it saves their time and it gives us the opportunity to really expose these kids and hopefully push them off to the next level. 